Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another donation unboxing video. This is for February 2019. I'm actually shooting this just a few days after I shot the January unboxing video because wouldn't you know it, right after I finished that video, I got another box. And I don't want to leave this stuff in this box for a whole month till the end of February to open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And if I get any other donations for February, I will put this with it. This box came from Jay Ulrich. Some of you may know Mr. Ulrich. He's a regular in our weekly live stream. He sent this rather substantial box. I have already cut it open so we can take a look inside. He sent this to my new P.O. box. I will put the P.O. box address on the screen now. Uh, any donations to the channel can be made there. But once again, I want to reiterate, uh, you should never feel obligated to send anything to me. Um, you do not have to give things to me. I'm grateful just to have you here and watching my videos. So thank you for being here. Uh, and thank you to Mr. Ulrich uh, for sending this. Okay, so let's see what's inside. Uh, we have packing material. We have a letter. All right, we have a letter. Let's see what the letter says. All right. <clears throat> it says, hello, HCC788. Uh, I've been watching your channel for several years now, and I wanted to share some Joe stuff I have found uh, hunting in flea markets and auctions. Thank you. And thanks for sticking around for such a long time. I really appreciate that. Uh, you do a great service to the Joe Collecting community. Uh, thank you. Um, I've learned a lot uh, by watching the channel. Keep up the superb work, sir. Respectful, respect, respectfully, uh, Jonathan Ulrich. Thank you very much, John. Um, and there's also, it says, um, I've enclosed a Brazilian stalker, um, a cobra wolf, which I restored from a shell. Uh, also include, uh, in, uh, enclosed a few other figures. So thank you for this. Uh, and. Uh, as I've said before, all letters that I get like this, I'm keeping all of these. Um, these are the mementos that I will take with me. Um, even, even after all the toys are gone, I want to have your letters um, in a safe place. So I will keep this with uh, the other letters that I've sent um, so that I can look back on them in the future. So th thank you, John. Let's see what's in the box. And I see something. <laughs> um, I see something right off the top. All right, uh, this is something that I've been thinking about for quite some time. Um, it is, are you ready for it here? Hold on, it's facing this way. All right, big reveal. It is the lunchbox from 1982. Oh, sorry, uh, I, did, I, don't, I didn't have one of these. Um, I've been thinking about getting one for quite some time, um, but I love this. Uh, it is, um, it has some artwork that's kind of unique to the, the lunchbox, and I absolutely love the artwork on this thing. Um, I, I love the way the Joes look in this painted artwork. Um, it's kind of an understated style. Um, you know, it's not like over the top action. Uh, it's got kind of a semi realistic style to it, and I just love this. I can stare at it for hours. Um, uh, so thank you, John. This is special. This is something that I've been looking at for quite some time, and I, I did not have one. Uh, and it is heavy, and so it feels like there's stuff in it. So I'm going to open it uh, and see what's in it. He may have just like packed some extra packing material in there uh, if the thermos is in there, so it doesn't rattle around. So let's see. Uh, let's open it up. It does have the thermos. Oh, it has. Uh, this appears, I believe this is the gun for the buzz bore, I think. Um, but it does have the thermos. There you go. There, that. Yeah, that's awesome. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Find my remote. Find the clicker. And, yeah. Look at this. There is the thermos. Uh, yeah, this is just classic 80s. Uh, there's some more stuff in here too. Let me see. Um, what's that? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, cool. I don't know what this figure is, but it's awesome. 
I know what that is. That's a Toxo Viper. Remember, the Toxo Viper was the last uh, surviving Joe from my childhood. <gasps> Ooh! A Cobra Eel. My favorite army builder, the Cobra Eel. Um, there's, oh, look at this. Uh, for G.I. Joe team members, members only, top secret, see inside for special offer. Oh, it's a, look, it's a hooded Cobra Commander mail away offer. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Oh, look at that. This is the Brazilian Stalker. Oh, look at that color. I don't know if, if you can see this. I'll, I'll take it out of the bag. But th this must be the Brazilian Stalker. Um, as I've said before, I don't collect uh, international, but I kind of do like to have a sampling of international figures because, uh, they're, oh, sorry, <laughs> because they're really cool. Um, but check out the coloring on that stalker. I don't know if you can see it, but like uh, the coloring is different from the U.S. Ver version. That's just amazing. Just I'm gonna put them back <laughs> because I don't want to uh, accidentally damage it. But um, how cool! is that uh so thank you for that there's more in here let me carefully dig in here uh carefully um let's see let's take some of the packing material out what are these guys these blue guys i'm not familiar with uh with these hold on maybe i can let's see uh no i nope can't read it um so these, these are Nanjo, but they're really interesting figures. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, and I'm not sure what that's from. So um, hints, clues, and suggestions, welcome. Uh, there's that guy, and then there's another one. Another one here. And we have, oh, hey, something uh, post-vintage. Uh, this is a Night Force Beachhead. I don't remember what year this is from. Um, but it's it's after the vintage era, but you know it has it uses that classic beachhead mold, but in Night Force colors. Um, I have seen this figure before. I had I don't have one. Well, I guess I do now. Uh, thank you, John. Um, but really interesting way that they uh, converted this to a Night Force figure. Uh, so really cool. Uh, so that's everything that's in the lunchbox. So let's zoom it out and see what else we got. First, I think I'm going to put everything back in here uh, just to keep it safe. All right, let's see what else is in here. He said there was a Cobra Wolf in here. I don't see it yet. What I see is a thermos from another G.I. Joe lunchbox. And I believe this is like a 1988 or 89 thermos. Um from like one of the plastic lunch boxes when they went to plastic instead of metal. Um, yeah, uh, what's, what's got snake eyes on it. It's got rock and roll version two on it. Uh, so that's really cool. I may have to start taking my lunches to work in this. Um, okay, oh, I see it. I see the Cobra Wolf. So let's pull this out. Uh, this is uh, one that he restored from a shell. Oh, okay, hey, that gun is for this. Hold on. That gun that I thought was for the buzzbore is for this. There you go. Very nice Cobra Wolf. It uh, doesn't have the gun on it, but it's, I put it back in the lunchbox. I'll put that on uh, when I'm done here. And inside the Cobra Wolf is a Snow Serpent. Oh, sorry, I'll put that back on. Uh, a Snow Serpent. Um, and. This is another great army builder. Uh, Snow Serpent is an excellent figure. So, and, and appropriate, of course, for uh, the Cobra Wolf. Uh, so really nice. Uh, looks like it's got some good wheels on that. Um, it's tar it, that's always the biggest problem with these Cobra Wolves uh, is the wheels. Um, uh, the little pegs that hold the wheels on tend to break. Uh, it's nice to see this one's in pretty good shape. Uh, so thank you, John. Uh, nice restoration on that. Um, looks like you got uh, all the missiles uh, and the, the ski torpedoes. Um, look, it's looking good. So well done. Well done. Um, so that may be it. Um, <laughs> that's not it. I see more. I see more. Um, let me make sure this is out enough so I can see. Um, and I don't want to... Oh, look at that. Okay. 
Keeping with the theme of lunch boxes, this is a thermos uh, from what looks like the 1987 plastic lunch box. Um, and I, you know, I didn't have any of these. Uh, I have seen them, uh, of course, but um, I hadn't picked any up yet. Uh, but right there is the thermos. It's got the the Defiant there. Uh, it's got the Cobra Mamba. Uh, it's got some 87 characters there. Uh, so really nice, nice artwork on this thermos. Uh, and I saw something else in here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's so cool. Um, oh yeah, you'll get a kick out of this. Uh, also in here is um, a pair of kids size, obviously, um, house shoes or slippers. G.I. Joe with Sergeant Slaughter on there. Check that out. Um, if only they would fit me. Which way do they go? If only they would fit me, I would totally wear these. Um, uh, check out the camouflage uh, and the Sergeant Slaughter print uh, with the Triple T tank. Uh, this is just super 80s. Uh, so that's, that's a fun and unique item. Uh, I didn't even know these existed, so obviously I didn't have them. So I just went through the packing material, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think we got everything, so thank you, John. Uh, that is so cool. It was very cool of you to send this. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I don't know if I will get anything else for February. Um, if I do, I will add more to this video. Holy cow, yes, we got more packages in February. A lot more. I should have waited to record that first segment, but it was late enough in the month that I didn't think we would get more stuff. But we definitely got more stuff. So uh, I'm going to open this stuff up, show you what we got. We got some packages from some old friends and from some new friends. Uh, so uh, this should be really interesting. I did go ahead and cut the boxes uh, so it'll be easier for me to uh, get into them. Uh, but let's find out what everybody sent us. I have three boxes from Brandon Knight. And Brandon, uh, he's an old friend of the channel. Uh, he's helped out uh, before. Uh, he's sent a lot of stuff before. So um, he has now three boxes here. Uh, so I'm going to go through these one at a time and see what Brandon sent us. And I'm going to start with this smaller one because it was on top. Uh, so let's see what Brandon sent us. It looks like we have a letter from Brandon. It says, Dear HCC788, love the new intro. Thank you very much. Uh, the new reviews are great and well done, uh, but you need a more Cobra reviews. You're right. Hey, I'm working on those Cobra reviews. Um, I love the Joes, but I like, uh, like I told my grandfather many years ago, uh, need more bad guys. Uh, how else are you going to play G.I. Joe without bad guys? That's a good point. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, keep having fun. Hope you see, to see you at Joe Fest. Yes, Joe Fest coming up in June. I will be there. Um, it says, P.S. More G.I. Joe figures to help uh, future reviews. I hope these help out. Um, also, there's a special figure I would like you to review for uh, my birthday, Sunday, May 26th. Uh, this will be cool for my birthday. Okay. Um, so let's see what he sent us here. Uh, we have some bubble wrap. Always important. Uh, let's see here. We have, uh, I, let's see, I don't know if this is the one, the special one or not. I'm not sure which one is the special one. Uh, make sure you let me know which one is the special one, Brandon. Um, but this one is, um, well, here, it's, let me zoom it in so you can see. It's Overkill. It's the Cobra Bat Leader. Let me take him out of the bag so you can see a little better. Oh, I just saw I saw another figure in the box, and maybe that one's the special one. Hold on a second here, but let's finish looking at Overkill. Um, yeah, Overkill Overkill's a special figure. It's interesting anyway. So uh, there's uh, there's Overkill with file card. Uh, so thank you for very much for that. Let me put him back in the bag so I don't lose him. Uh, and let's see what else is in this box. And I'm seeing one right here that is pretty amazing and special uh, to me. Um, and that would be, um, wow, uh, this is awesome. This is Night Force Shockwave. Holy cow. Uh, Brandon, this is uh, extremely generous. 
Uh, is this the special figure, including the file card? Because it looks pretty special to me. Um, let me slide the figure out real quick. But that, uh, that looks to be in really nice shape. And as some of you may know by now, these Night Force figures are, uh, are not easy to come by. Uh, and it looks like all the accessories are here. It, it looks complete to me. Well, thank you, Brandon. That is amazing. This is huge. Um, and, you know, I'm a big fan of Shockwave anyway. Uh, but this Night Force version is really sweet. So uh, thank you, Brandon, for that. Um, and in addition to that, we've got... Oh, we got some cool stuff. We're not done. In addition to that, we have a Hooded Cobra Commander from... What year was this one? Was it like 92, I think? Um, and then um, the Cobra Viper version. Uh, what version was this one? Um, it's got a nice color scheme. It's like, I want to say version 3 of the Cobra Viper, uh, the one after the uh, Python Patrol version. Uh, so really nice figures, really uh, nice indeed, uh, including the very rare um, Night Force uh, 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 Shockwave. This is, that's incredible. Uh, so if that's the one that uh, you're thinking of as the special one, uh, uh, let me know. But uh, uh, thanks, Brandon. That's awesome. Uh, so let's look at another box that uh, Brandon um is uh has sent um keeping of course i always keep the letters so um we will uh zoom out a little bit i always keep the letters that everyone sends so um here is the second box that brandon sent um i don't know if it's the second box he sent he may have sent them in a different order but this is the second one i'm opening again because it's on top um let's see oh this is um Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, that's uh, well. First of all, we've got a bag of uh, missiles and guns and figure stands, so uh, that's that's great. Uh, can never have too many figure stands, um, and I've got some packing popcorn. I, I'm just, I can see what's in here. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. Um, it is manimals. Yep, still on the card. And I think this these were released, uh, I think they were KB Toys exclusives, I think. But um, there it is, Manimals. Um, this is Warwolf. Warwolf. <laughs> uh, so, oh, we got another letter. We got another letter. Uh, Brandon says, uh, hope your family, you and your family are doing well and, um, and doing great. Uh, great video on the Dallas Vintage Toy Stores. Thank you. Makes me want to visit the place one day in my life. Um, in this package are the Manimals. Uh, all three of them. Really? Um, uh, and are here and ready for a review in the future. Yeah, there's another one. This one is Slythor. Um, the, the, they have names kind of like He-Man uh, villains. Um, uh, I know these are not vintage, technically, uh, but they are uh, cre they were created originally for the vintage line. That's true. Uh, then canceled for the Sa Sergeant Savage toy line. It would be fun to hear your thoughts on these figures. Uh, uh, will you review them separately or together? Also, weird history on the creation of these figures. Keep up the great work. Never stop playing with your toys. Thank you, Brandon. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, since I didn't have these before, I didn't have any plan really for how I would review them because I, I hadn't thought of it. But uh, Iguanus. Iguanus is the name of that one. These are hilarious. Um, and I, I'll, I'm going to have to just take a closer look at them because um, I, I'm not actually all that familiar with Manimals. Um, and I will need to um, familiarize myself with them to even understand what even the heck I'm looking at. Uh, but thank you, Brandon. This is highly amusing. Uh, and I look forward to taking a closer look at them. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off the boxes that Brandon sent. So there is one more 
Uh, it is not on top, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish off the stuff that Brandon sent. Since Brandon went in, through all the trouble to send so much, I want to go ahead and open it. Uh, so he has here a letter uh, which says... Um, Oh, these are for a Green Yeti. Wanted to help the kid get G.I. Joe figures that are hard to find and collect. They will make him very happy. Uh, also, I put together a small uh, army build. A kid should have dreams, and sometimes a dream should come true. If I can make one kid dream, dream come true, then I'm happy to do this. One kind act uh, makes all the difference in the world. Please help these uh, figures get to the right journey. Well, Green Yeti, if you're watching, I understand that um, at least you said that you'll be at Joe Fest. Looks like I'll have to bring these with me. Uh, let's see what uh, what uh, Brandon sent. This is the first ever um, box of toys that's been sent to me, but has not actually been specifically for me. So uh, I'll try to make sure these do get to the right uh, destination. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, wait, should we wait and let Green Yeti be surprised? Uh, Brandon has done. I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to keep the letter in, with it. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Brandon, for that. Actually, thanks. I, I want to thank you for that, even though this isn't for me. But thank you for uh, thinking of your fellow fans. Um, that is very generous, and I think that's a good way to treat uh, your fellow uh, fans. Uh, you set a good example, so thank you very much for that. So that's all that I have from Brandon. Let's see what else we got. Um, now this, um, this actually is something that I've opened previously, but I wanted to show it to you. Um, this is uh, an Action Man intelligence manual. This is from the UK. Of course, Action Man was... Uh, the UK version of G.I. Joe back when it was the 12 inch action figure um, and this is basically kind of like the um, the service manuals the uh, branch of service manuals that we got with um, with uh, US G.I. Joe figures back in the 60s um, but um, just all kinds of cool stuff in there this is from my friend uh, Landon um, Landon it has been a friend of mine for a long time, for uh, longer than I've had this channel, actually. Uh, Landon is from the UK, or at least he, he lives in the UK. Um, and uh, I've had the uh, privilege of meeting him uh, when Susan and I, and I went to the UK back in 2014. Uh, we met up with Landon, who had already been a, a long-time friend of mine by that point. Um, and you might know Landon because he played the Toy Master in Cobra Convergence 2. So thank you, Landon, for that, and thank you for this, and thank you for being a friend for years and years. Um, I appreciate you, and I hope to see you again someday soon. Sorry if my voice isn't holding up very well. I have been sick recently, um, uh, and I'm just still recovering, so... Um, but I'm not going to complain too much about being sick because of uh, who this uh, uh, this uh, package is from. This is from uh, our friend Byron, a uh, longtime friend of the channel, really good guy. Uh, and Byron has had some uh, health issues recently, and I want to say get well, Byron. Um, we miss you. We, we care about you. We want you around. So, um, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, so, uh, his health issues are much worse than mine. I had a little cold, that's nothing. Uh, so Byron, do get well soon. Byron uh, writes, I uh, hope you enjoy your Hoodie Coco. This is my first attempt at a wood carving. Oh, a wood carving! Um, so his letter gives away what's, what it is. Um, okay, hey, you carved, you carved that yourself? That's cool. Uh, let me finish reading. Uh, let's see. Uh, also want uh, to thank you for being such a good friend. Oh, you've been a good friend to me. Thanks. Uh, and for your tireless effort in teaching us all about G.I. Joe. You have brought joy to great many people, myself included. Well, thank you, Byron. Uh, and he sends this wood carving, uh, hand wood carved uh, hoodie cocoa. And it looks like, 
Oh, it has HCC 788 and cocoa on it. That's cool. And I like, you know, this wood carving um, of the hooded Cobra Commander does remind me of my, uh, the, uh, my likening of uh, the hooded Cobra Commander to a Pac-Man ghost. You know, when he eats the big pellets and the ghosts turn blue, uh, the, the, um, he, to me, he kind of looks like, uh, like the blue Pac-Man ghost. So, um, so thank you, uh, Byron. And I guess this will go with my, um, my little mini collection that I'm getting of hooded Cobra Commanders. Uh, you know, I've got like a pop vinyl hooded Cobra Commander and then, um, uh, another uh, blind bag um, hooded Cobra Commander that uh, Kevin from SEO Toy Review sent me, um, and uh, so I'm I'm collecting hooded Cobra Commanders, and this will go perfectly with that collection. Thank you, Byron. Okay, now and just to remind you, I always keep every single one of these letters. Um, I have uh, a big envelope. They all go into those uh, into that envelope. I don't ever throw away the letters. Uh, I want to keep everything that you guys write to me. So uh, thank you. And you know, uh, maybe it just shows kind of how old we are that we actually write letters. It's kind of a, it's a lost art, you know, writing letters to someone. So I appreciate that you guys uh, put forward the effort to write a letter to me. So if you do that, then I'm going to keep it. Um, so uh, this is from John. Um, and it only has a first name on here. So John, thanks. Uh, I'm going to open it up uh, and see what John sent me. Um, and let's see, we have some packing material. Uh, and we have a letter, another letter which I will keep. Um, it says, uh, hey Brian, hope uh, you get use out of these. I know you were a fan of, uh, of Joe Kubert art. Joe Kubert, yes. Um, and here's to the next annual reviewing of the Snake Eyes. Yes, we do need to get to that annual reviewing of the Snake Eyes uh, pretty soon, don't we? Um, so uh, thank you uh, to John John uh, Quimson. John Quimson slash John Q. All right, John Q, thank you very much for that. And let's see what he sent. Um, and right off the bat, I can see what he meant by, um, by Joe Kubert. Um, not this one. This is, uh, this is, uh huh. Well, this is, uh, Snake Eyes. This is the, I want to say like a direct, direct to consumer, uh, Snake Eyes, and I forget what year these, uh, were done, like 2010, 2011, something like that. Um, but, um, yeah, there's, there's a Snake Eyes, uh, modern, modern Snake Eyes, carded. Um, very nice. Thank you. Uh, now, this is what he meant by, uh, Joe Kubert. I show you this now. Um, and I'm going to see if I can lift it all, the whole thing out without spilling it. There we go. This is, um, yeah, it's the Sergeant Savage Grizzly SS1. It's, uh, it's the Sergeant Savage Jeep. Let me move this so I, you can see it better. Um, and it does have, it does have the Jeep inside it. Uh, it's got the cardboard tray. There we go. And it's got the box. There you go. Check that out. And um, I don't know that this is that this has been assembled. I guess it has been assembled at least once because it has it has the stickers on it. But um, but it's got um, it's all disassembled, which gives me the opportunity to assemble it. Uh, and and it has the blueprints. Uh, so this is cool. Um, I uh, did a review of Sergeant Savage uh, and I mostly covered the figures really, uh, but not the vehicles. So um, this is um, uh, the first time I've actually been able to get my hands on a Sergeant Savage vehicle and it's in great condition. Fantastic shape. Uh, and it's really cool to have the box too. So um, so thank you for that. Um, I will put this together because I'm really curious about about this Sergeant Savage uh, vehicle, um, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the Snake Eyes as well. And you are correct, John. We do need to get to that annual reviewing of the Snake Eyes. Uh, so thanks, John. All right, this one is from Shane Sisk. So Shane, uh, thank you for this. Uh, I did cut it open, but I haven't looked inside to see what it is. Uh, and I see, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to pull it out. Uh, oh, it's a Cobra thing. It's a Cobra thing. 
It has a switch on it. I don't know what it does. Uh, I think it needs batteries, but I'll, I'll replace the batteries because this is cool. That's awesome. All right, well, thanks for that, Shane. There's more in here. Let me, let me pull it out. Uh, oh, all right, okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, he's got a small piece of paper that I'm going to open. Uh, it says, uh, just wanted to send you some stuff. Thanks for the videos, Shane S. Thank you, Shane. I will keep this along with all of the other uh, letters. And what he sent was uh, trading cards. Trading cards. Now, uh, these have been fun in the past. I've always enjoyed these. Uh, looks like these are the Cobra ones. Uh, I always try to like see if I can find the Stalker real quick. Uh, you know, Stalker's my favorite, and you know, this all started when I got a couple packs of uh, of these trading cards, you know, fresh packs, and I opened them up, uh, but it didn't have a Stalker in it. Ah, found it! There's Stalker! Uh, so, uh, yeah, this looks like, um, if this isn't a complete set, then it's close to a complete set. So, um, so awesome! Thank you very much, Shane. That's much appreciated. Um, thank you for the Cobra thing, too. Uh, this looks like something that might end up on my desk. So, uh, awesome. Thank you very much, Shane. And that brings us to the final box, and this is from Jason Karest. So, Jason, thank you very much. I'm going to uh, open it up. I did cut the box, but I haven't opened it yet. There we go. Oh, and we have a letter with an envelope with an envelope, a letter in an envelope. How classy is that? And it says HCC 788 off. So I'm going to open the envelope and take out the letter. And the winner of the Best Picture Oscar is um, Dear HCC 788, hope you enjoy the Jeep and Lunchbox. And there's as a special surprise in the Lunchbox uh, made, uh, made uh, uh, by me. Uh, so, okay. So, there's a surprise in the lunchbox. Is it a sandwich? Let's find out. Uh, so apparently there's a lunchbox in here. Uh, let's see. I can see the lunchbox and some packing material. Let's move some packing material. Um, and there is the lunchbox. Now, as many of you know, this uh, lunchbox... I, I say many of you know. Maybe not very many of you know. This lunchbox has some of my all-time favorite G.I. Joe artwork. And to my knowledge, this artwork only appears on this lunchbox. Like this image right here um, is, I love it. Um, I just love the way it looks with the classic uh, 1982 characters. Um, I think it's really awesome. And I think it ought to be a poster, but it's on a lunchbox. So that's cool. Um, and there's a surprise inside the lunchbox, which I'm hoping is a sandwich, but let's see. Uh, let's open it up. It does have the thermos. So, thermos, thank you. Uh, and... Ah, okay. Okay, okay, it's a custom. It's a custom. I know who this is supposed to be. I know who this is supposed to be. Hold on, let me get a uh, close-up of this. Let me see if you can guess. See if you can guess who this custom is supposed to be before I tell you. This, it'll probably be easier if I take it out. Um, this is a custom of, yeah, you got some good accessories with him too. That's perfect. Yeah. This is a custom of Quinn from the comic book. Quinn, uh, the character that was a friend of Snake Eyes, uh, the Inuit that was first introduced in issue number two. We never got a vintage uh, action figure, uh, but uh, this is a nice custom. Um, a good use of the chest, because it's got the machine gun belt. A uh, good use of a head, uh, looks reasonably like him, and uh, it looks like he got uh, the weasel skull necklace, which, uh, of course, Quinn had. Had his weasel skull necklace. Um, and he's got, we got um, road, Roadblock's machine gun, because uh, Quinn did have a machine gun in the backpack. So that's awesome. So really cool. Thank you very much. Um, that is 
uh, unbelievable. Uh, I Quinn is one of my favorite characters. A great classic character from the uh, comic book that uh, unfortunately didn't make it to uh, an action figure form, at least until after the vintage era. So, um, so awesome. And I love the lunchbox and I love the custom. So uh, there was something else in uh, the the big box, so I'm going to check that out now. Uh, carefully set that aside. Uh, and I, I think I will put your letter back uh, back in the envelope. Um, so, you know, it, getting an actual letter is a rare thing, and getting one in an envelope is even more rare. So, thank you for that. Now, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, I, I see one other thing, at least I think one other thing. Uh, well, first of all, we have some trading cards. Uh, and then we have something that's really cool that you should like. This is great. It is the Hammer. The Hammer, which was issued in 19... I want to... Is it 91, 90 or 91? I can't remember what year the Hammer came out. Um, but, of course, this is a G.I. Joe interpretation of the Humvee. Um, it is... Uh, a, a fantastic vehicle, uh, especially for a 90s vehicle. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, what it is usually missing uh, is the antenna. It had a big curved antenna that attached here and curved up and hooked onto the roof here. Um, the plastic on it, uh, you know, is not that sturdy. Plus, you know, it bends, uh, so it's just it's bound to break, and it often did. So um, that's what is usually missing on this particular vehicle. Uh, but this is in great shape, uh, and I am a big fan of the Hammer. Um, just a great vehicle. So thank you to uh, to Jason for sending this to me. Uh, it, it's really appreciated and thank you for the lunchbox and the custom too. Thank you. I want to thank you everyone one last time for sending stuff to me. Uh, I want to remind everyone that you do not have to send stuff to me. It, you, you should never feel obligated to. Um, uh, I certainly, you know, I don't uh, ask for things, but uh, of course if you do send things, I want to show my appreciation and you know put it in front of the camera so everybody can see uh, what you sent me and that's just some really awesome stuff. Um, so I appreciate you. I appreciate you just being here and watching these videos. Thank you for joining me every week. Um, if anyone uh, does want to donate anything to the channel, I will put the P.O. box on the screen um, so you can. That's where you send it. So. Um, thank you to everyone. Um, like I said before, I have been sick. My, you can probably hear the raspiness in my voice. My voice isn't holding up too well, uh, so I should stop talking. But um, uh, I will be back with you soon. I am working on videos. I'm working to get more stuff up for you. So uh, we're just going to keep uh, pushing along uh, and keep uh, sharing the love of G.I. Joe and all the fun times that we remember when we were kids and how awesome these toys were. So uh, thanks everyone again. Um, I will see you soon for a review video. Uh, and until then, you know what to remember. Uh, I will see you in the future.